welcome everyone, I'm Jane and this is the summary for lesson three which is all about the My Turn City and as we know from the last two lessons that you can actually go on any road, it doesn't matter as long as you're in control and I want to talk to you about the words that we use to maintain control because at the moment, some of the words that we're using is giving our power away and giving our control away. For example, if I say to you, you are making me angry, who has the power, you or me? I'm saying you are making me angry. So I'm actually giving you the power, which means I'm giving you control of my steering wheel. When you're saying you make me angry or it's their fault, you know, it's they are making me feel this way or this situation, it's the situation's fault. It's because of the coronavirus that I'm feeling like this. So often we blame things outside us for how we feel inside. And it's that language that keeps us feeling like we're a victim. Because if you blame someone, you don't have any power. So you become a victim. And that's a very uncomfortable place to be. You know, it's my parents' fault because they won't let me talk to so-and-so. It's, you know, my boss's fault because he does this at work. You know, we're constantly blaming people outside us. And when we're doing that, as I said, we become the victim. And often, to regain our power, we retaliate. And that retaliation can be from the outside. You hit me, so I'll hit you. You said this to me, so I'll say this to you. Even countries are doing it. You bomb me, so I'll bomb you. But it's also happening inside. So that retaliation could be, it's all my fault. And blame yourself for everything. I'm useless, I'm hopeless. Some people take it to a physical degree where they stop eating or they actually hurt themselves because that's how they feel they're regaining their power. Now, if we start to use language in a different way, that helps us to start to regain our power, to regain our control. Are there going to be moments when you lose control? Absolutely. Because how do you know how to regain control if you've never lost it? So it's not, this isn't a judgment thing, okay? But if you want to take back control, you need to change your language. So instead of saying, you're making me, they're making me, it's their fault, it's the situation's fault, you start to say, you know what, I'm choosing to be angry because what you said was really mean. Now, if I say I am choosing, who has the power, you or me? I do because I'm saying I am choosing to feel this way. I'm not allowing you to have the power. For example, the situation that's happening in the world today, you could blame all this lockdown for how you're feeling. It's the situation's fault. That's why I'm feeling like this. And again, you feel a victim to whatever's going on. But if you can say, you know what, I am choosing to respond to this situation in this way. All of a sudden you have power again. And you can choose your own emotions and know that you're in control of that choice. And you're not a victim. You are in charge. And that is powerful. So the takeaway for today is I don't care which road you're on as long as you're in control. And how to maintain or regain control using words is to get rid of the words they made me or it's their fault or it's the situation's fault. Replace it with I am choosing to feel. I'm choosing to feel this way because or I'm choosing to respond this way because. And once you start doing that on a daily basis, you will start to get your power back. You'll start to feel that you have control of some part of your life. And how important is that? Not only in this time, but any time. So until we see each other tomorrow, I hope you're able to think about that and practice that. It's not easy to do because you're in a pattern of blame because that's how we've been speaking. So this, you're trying to create a new pattern. And as I said originally, the more you use language, the more your neural pathways will change and your pattern will change. 
and you'll just default to saying I am choosing and you'll forget all about those words you are making me or it's your fault but give it time just start gently and it works so good luck and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow thanks bye